All right, you guys, Mr. Red Logan here. Um, we had some people having problems uh, trying to figure out the juke bucket, how to upload your music and store the music files. So I thought I'd go go over that real quick. Um, I would recommend using Dropbox, which is this right here. You can just find it on Google. It's at the top. Uh, Dropbox right there, Dropbox.com, and um, set up an account real quick. It only takes a couple seconds, and I'd recommend installing the app. Onto your computer also or a program. Um, after you after you do so, um, you'll get this page. You'll get the photos, public folder, and getting started. Now, um, after you install the app, after you go to my computer, it should you should have a new Dropbox folder. Now, um, notice how they all have these little green arrows next to them here. Um, that means that everything is running smoothly. So what you want to do is in order to upload your music, you go into your public folder and if you have your .org or .wave um, file, you simply drag it over into the public folder. Now um, I think it's hard to see, I'll probably zoom in on it, but you'll get a little blue circle with the rotating things on it. That means it's currently uploading. So we're going to give that a couple seconds as it, up, as it uploads and then after that we'll go ahead and uh, go into the rest and I'll show you what to do. It's not much, not, not much longer after this. Don't worry. All right. Now um, I had to cut a little bit of the video there because it took a little bit longer to upload. Um, now we have a nice little green check next to our our Daft Punk file. So oh, and also my window scheme changed randomly. Um, so after you go into Dropbox, you can now navigate to your public folder here, and notice how it is now listed right there, DaftPunk.org. So what you want to do is you want to right click this and then click copy public link. Let's give you this link right here and now you can just right click, click copy or copy the clipboard. Now this is the URL that you want to put into your CD burner. After you copy it you just paste it into the CD and burn the CD and let it download the music for a couple seconds and you're all good to go. And uh, thank you for watching.